numeric and geometric patterns. Mental math, times tables, 11 times 11 equals 121. 12 times 8 equals 96. Addition, 15 plus 55 equals 70. Subtraction, 72 minus 18 equals 54. Division, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Square numbers, square of 7 equals 49, it means 7 times 7. Square root of 49 equals 7. The cube of 7 equals 7 times 7 times 7 equals 343. And the cube root of 343 equals 7. Decimal addition 6,3 plus 6,8 equals 13,1. Decimal subtraction 9,6 minus 4,2 equals 5,4. Decimal multiplication 0, 0,2 times 0, 0,03 equals 0, 0,006. Decimal division 1,4 divided by 0, 0,2 equals 7. You multiply both with 10 to get whole numbers and it's 14 divided by 2 equals 7. Fraction addition 3 over 8 plus 2 over 4 find the lowest common multiple 3 over 8 plus 4 over 8 equals 7 over 8. Fraction subtraction 5 over 9 minus 1 over 3 equals, find the lowest common multiple, 5 over 9 minus 3 over 9 equals 2 over 9. Fraction multiplication, 3 over 4 times 3 over 16 equals, 3 times 3 equals 9, and 4 times 16 equals 64. Fraction division, 3 over 4 divided by 3 over 16 equals 3 over 4 times 16 over 3. You divert the last fraction equals 48 divided by 12 equals 4. Numeric patterns. If we look at the following pattern 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Try and identify the pattern. There is a constant difference between the previous number in the pattern. In this case, we have added because we can see it's getting more. Now if you look at number 2 to number 4, then it goes to 6, goes to 8, 10. The pattern is plus 2. If we look at the next pattern, 2, 1, 0, 0,5, 0, 0,25, 0, 0,125. What happened here? We divided by 2. So the next example, there's a constant ratio between consecutive terms. The first one you have added, and the second one you have divided. When we add or we minus, it's a difference. And if we multiply or we divide, it's referred to as a ratio. Numeric patterns. Let's look at the following pattern. 1, 0, negative 2, negative 5, negative 7. And if we look at each next number, what happens from the first one to the next one? Can you see the patterns have neither a constant difference 
nor a constant ratio. Example, extend the pattern or equals the next two terms. Number 1, 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. So you have to extend it with the next two terms. What happens from 1 to 5? Then from 5 to 9, from 9 to 13, and from 13 to 17. We plus 4. So the next term will be 17 plus 4 equals 21. And then 21 plus 4 equals 25. A constant difference of adding 4. Numeric patterns. Extend it with the next two terms. We first look at the pattern. 36, 18. And now we can see we divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 9 divided by 2 equals 4,5. 4,5 divided by 2 equals 2,25. So the next one will be 2,25 divided by 2 equals 1,125 divided by 2 equals 0,5625. A constant ratio of dividing by 2. 15, 30, 30, 20, 10. Can you see the pattern has neither a constant difference nor a constant ratio?